Thank you for your time today. I know many of you have had to go to training early or missed training or um, had to change plans to be here. So we're very grateful for this exciting Aspire. Like I said, it's the first of the year and we're very excited to be in our Olympic year. The edge is, is just a piece of tranquility and we want it to be a little Australian piece of tranquility that you can escape from the village and you can go and be at the edge and just relax, just chill out, have a meeting with your sport and most importantly it's going to be the area where you can meet up with your family and friends. It's got a pool, it's got an indoor pool as well, we'll have medical facilities, we'll have performance analysis facilities, we'll do VIP and sponsor functions there. Um, there's a fantastic equipped, fantastically equipped gym which is right next door. So I encourage you all to, uh, to take full advantage of the edge because we feel that it will be our edge at games time. I thought the session went really well. Um, it was great to hear from Nat Cook and Kitty Chiller. They were giving us their feedback on what they've experienced in Rio over their times there. So really insightful for myself and a few other people here that hadn't been to Rio yet. So a really cool session. You'll start seeing me run a couple of laps around Albert Park Lake soon, I think. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I mean, it's nice to have this little bit of um, inspiration just right before our qualies anyway, just to inspire me and work that a little bit harder. I'd like to share with you the, what I used to get my Olympic gold medal. Now for some of you, you'll think that's really cool and I'm going to go and do that. For some of you, you'll think that's not me and you'll have your own way. But one of the things Kerry Pothast and myself did in the lead up to the Sydney Olympics was to surround ourselves with gold. Everything in my life was gold. Gold, sh gold shoes, gold car, gold boxer shorts, gold toaster, gold sheets. Everything in my life was gold. I saw gold every time. Now here's the secret. We had never ever won an international beach volleyball event. And we were focused on gold. I encourage you to stretch your mind. I encourage you to stretch your courage, your performance, because you might only go to the Olympics once and you wanna leave everything you've got out on the field, on the course, on the judo mat. Well, it's the first for 2016. We're actually in Rio year, so it was really exciting to see the faces of all the athletes that are on their road to Rio. And I think we've got a few excited athletes, especially triathlon. They were a bit excited. Taekwondo was taken on judo. I had the shooters get excited. So they've got to learn a little bit about what the requirements are to be a part of our amazing Olympic team. And I think they had a great day.